Ahoy, welcome back to another Play to Impressions video. This time we're going to look at a couple games from Catalog Drop 13. Last time we checked out a Resonant Tail from Catalog Drop 12. It was uh, like a Zelda-like. It was pretty fun. Um, I, need, I need to go back and play the last couple dungeons of this one. Um, but we got two more games to play today that I'm pretty excited about. Um, might be a little bit longer since we're checking out two instead of one this time. But um, let's just start off with this one down here. So uh, Castle Tintagel, I think it's I think it's how you say it. Tintagel, Tintagel, Tintagle. Um, this one is a uh, Castlevania-like. So I'm, I'm pretty excited to try this one out. I'm assuming this one's going to be more buttons, D-pad and buttons. So I got a um, one that'll utilize the crank to try after this. I'm assuming this one will be like a pretty traditional platformer with how it feels. Got a castle floating off in the distance. Just go ahead and start off game. In the mystical land of Albion, a dark cloud casts its ominous shadow over the once glorious realm. The legendary King Arthur, wielding Excalibur, stands at the pinnacle of his power, ruling with justice and compassion. But fate has other plans for the land and his people. Deep within the shadows, a sly and cunning figure emerges from being known as Morgana, harboring a burning desire for ultimate power and dominion. With her dark magic and treacherous schemes, she sets her sights on the throne of Camelot, determined to overthrow King Arthur and seize control of the kingdom. The night is drenched in darkness as Morgana's forces swarms to entangle castle in the heart of Arthur's rule. Her minions, twisted and corrupted, clash fiercely with the valiant knights who stand in defense of their king. The battlefield becomes a chaotic whirlwind of steel and sorcery as Morgana's powers threaten to engulf the realm in everlasting night. Inside Tintagel Castle, Arthur fights with unparalleled valor, his resolve unwavering. Despite overwhelming odds, he stands as a beacon of hope rallying his knights and inspiring them to fight for the light, but Morgana's powers are formidable, and her malicious intent fuels her every move. With a surge of dark energy, Morgana delivers a devastating blow, sending Arthur sprawling into the ground. Merlin watches Arthur and the surrounding knights fall. With a heavy heart, he uses what's left of his power to teleport Guinevere and Gawain to safety. Oh. Darkness slooms as Morgana, the sorceress of great power, sought to claim the throne and plunge the land into chaos. Her malevolent presence had cast a shadow over the once glorious kingdom, leaving the people desperate for a savior. Okay. Oh! This is where our journey begins. Is it time for a coffee break yet? I think it's time for a coffee break. Alrighty. Gawain, can you hear me? Merlin, where are you? Where is Guinevere? She is safe, as are you for now. Powerful sorceress. Alright, I want to start playing now. Okay, cool. So it looks like we're playing um, uh, Castlevania, but they're using the... the uh, King Arthur, you know, the, what are they called? The four, I can't remember the four knights. There's Gawain. I, I, I recognize the name Gawain as like a four horseman kind of thing. I don't know what that, I, I'm assuming that's all from the King King Arthur stuff, but I don't know. Either way, let's go, uh, let's go save Camelot in Tintagel, I mean Tintagel Forest. So we got jump, pretty standard. Do I have like attack? What's my attack? A sword, excellent. Let's go mess some fools up. What's up? Does the crank do anything? If not, I'm gonna put it in its little docket. So this is really like old Castlevania. Even, even with like the, the speed of the movement feels a little slow and familiar. Okay, this guy's messing me up. I'm not gonna get very far with this guy. Just can I duck? Yeah, that guy, uh, that guy took way too much health off me. <laughs> Alright, let's continue on. Um, can I hit these and get, like, item drops? Looks like I got some little orb things. Yeah, so this guy's a pain. This, uh, the thrower guy. Three, two... Okay, okay, so this... It was a life thing. I wasn't sure it was going to count down. I'm definitely not going to get very far in this. 
Oh. Okay. I just missed my spell to start. That's why I... That should be able to take out the, uh... The throwing homie a little bit easier. Music's nice. Let me turn it up a little bit just to make sure the music is... Here on the video. Right, let's throw this at the... Let's throw this at this guy. Oh, it's, it's like I see him up here. A little bit better. I took I still took damage, but I had to use a lot of magic that time. I've never been like particularly good at um, traditional tra Castlevania games. I haven't played a whole lot of them. I uh, I would. I played Rondo of Blood on the PS4, um, one of those collections, and it's a fun game. I need to go back and play it more. Um, made it to like the fifth or sixth level. I need to finish it, but come on. Okay, let's get this little bat to come to us. Yeah, with games like this, I think the biggest turnoff for me is like just it, it's so it feels so slow and it's very methodical. Like you've got to be real, you know. Obviously, I'm getting hit even though it's moving, even though it's moving this slow. I'm still getting hit and dying, but I just prefer a, a game where I can move a little faster. And I, I mean, it's not necessarily against this game. This game is clearly trying to um, catch those feelings of an old Castlevania game, and it does feel like that, so props to them for that. This is personally not my kind of... Damn it, this guy's, these guys are messing me up, man. I'm not even sure what those guys are, like <laughs> throwing little balls of fire at me. So let's bait it out. I can't keep going one for one with those guys. I gotta start actually uh, killing them without getting hit. Throw your fire. Does the knockback hit me if I'm on the ground? Because I was in the air and it pushed me back. I wonder if I was on the ground if that would have just taken the hit and not flown back. I wasn't paying attention earlier when I got hit in the ground. <clears throat> I would like to make it through the first level. That'd be neat. That'd make me feel good about myself. So I definitely outrange him. I need to just like be really good about keeping my distance. I just him like, yeah, I can just hit him from like way over here. Oh no, don't take a hit for him. Damn it! Okay. How do you feel like I take two hits? But okay. I wonder what the little orbs do. Like, I have 20 of those orbs. What do I want to do with those later? I do get knocked back if I'm on the ground. Okay. Let's get this bat. I think I've died just by falling up the level the last like a couple times here. So I'm gonna try to be real careful of that. But knowing me, I'll probably just die the same way anyway. Gosh. Okay, let's hit him from a distance. Okay. Yay! We made it new uh, to a new screen. Oh, okay. We got like a, a charging knight. Can I jump on these platforms above him? Is this a platform? It's not a platform. And I exploded. Game over. Okay. Well, um, I say what I'll do here is I will. Um, oh. 
It's like a level select screen, but I've only got the first level, so. That's neat. Maybe I'll do a, a speed up here. Um, let's do a speed up here and see where that gets me, um, if I make it any further. So, we're now back here again. So we're gonna jump up these steps up here to go up. Ride this over. What's this gonna do when I ride this over? I just get something from the, from the candle. What do I get? I jumped into it and I didn't see what I got, but okay, got something. Oh, whoa, 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 bat. You can't just be spawning like that from behind me. It's not very nice. Let's be careful here. Okay, what is this? Swap between your active spell by double tapping up. Okay. What does this spell do? I'm afraid to use it. I don't want to waste it, but I also want to see what it does. Alright, let's, uh... Let's try to use it on this guy over here. A tornado, okay. I'll throw a tornado at you, take this. Oh. Top screen froze. I'm gonna wait a second. You had to miss it, but the tornado definitely killed him. Alright, we're back. Sorry, the top screen froze on me, um, so you missed um, him get d obliterated by the tornado, but uh, he did. He was destroyed. I almost missed that jump. I would have been pissed if I died like that. Alright, we got platforming in here now. I just, I already know what's going to happen. I'm just going to tell you. Homie over here is going to throw a fireball at me. He's going to hit me while I'm trying to platform this freaking rock here. I'm going to die and it's going to make me sad. Okay, we made it. Okay. Um, looks like Nightfellow is guarding the exit. That was close. How much longer is this level? Um, Okay, I would appreciate some health. I'm scared. The spike here, I'm scared of everything. Okay, let's be careful here. Very cautious. No, 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 you stay dead. Stay dead. Yay, one piece of health. Alright, top screen froze again, so you missed it. It's got the same spell again. It says collecting two instances of the same spell will empower the spell's ability. So we've got like a stronger magic fireball thing now. Um, let's see how much that matters. I'm kind of scared more of my health and the lack there of it. Let's uh, continue on. Screw that guy. He can keep his candlestick. Why did I waste a fire on that guy? That's, uh, that's annoying. He's, he's, he panicked. Now I've got a boss, and I have two health and no magic, so things are not looking good. The good thing. Oh, okay. No unique boss music, it just says uh, just keep playing the same music, it's interesting. I wonder if there's um, each level has different music 
Oh no, stay away from me, stay away from me. Come on. Not good. Not good at all. So I want to stay on the outsides of the laser. He's always going to shoot it in. Ooh, okay. Things are tight, things are tight. No health, sorry, one health, no magic. Why would you shoot it that way this time? It's upsetting. I thought I had your number. I'm trying to wait on the outside for it. Maybe I'll wait on the inside, let him shoot his little fireball, and then I'll go on the outside and get a couple hits on him. Like that. There we go. I've got the loop down, it's just don't mess it up, is, is where I'm at, basically. Got him. Whew! That was scary. That boss wasn't too bad, I was just kind of scared of the, uh, the health situation. I was kind of hoping it'd be the end of the level, and maybe it is, um, but please be the end of the level. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. I'm upset. Oh, okay, so there's a checkpoint. Thank God. Okay. I think it was a good place to stop, though. Um, so we got one boss done, made it to, like, I guess, the second little area of the map, so I'm calling that good for now. Um, exit, oh, exit area, there we go. So now I should be able to... Did, that, did I not get any progress there? I had a checkpoint, but it didn't beat the level. If I go back, there's start... Okay, well, all right. Let's go to the next game. That's upsetting. I, w I just assumed I had like a checkpoint here on the map I could go back to, but either way, um, we're jumping to the next game. Um, and this next one should use the crank. Crankshaft, all right. I think this is going to be a high score game. Oh, wasting no time. So yeah, you just you move the crank to get combos. And I feel like I'm be oh, it's it's really fast. It's level 1. Okay. You got no combos, but Don't touch the black spot. Okay, you die, you touch the black spot. Okay. Just wanted to confirm that. So, I can bounce off of these and it's no harm, it just ruins my combo, but I can't touch the black part of the, uh, the things. It's, it's, this game's faster than I imagined it. Like, how am I, how am I supposed to get a combo here? I, I can't react this fast to this. Just gotta spin as fast as I can see what happens. No, okay, never mind. Bad strategy. I do like games that use the crank. Oh no! This one's pretty simple. It's like it's literally just the crank. Um, but it is fun to. to uh, last couple games I've played have been uh, have been crankless, so to speak. Um, so. Damn it, okay. 
Let's try to get through like like ten levels. Let's try to get through ten levels. That sounds like a good stopping spot. Unless things get insane, then we'll stop when we get stuck. Check out that three-time combo. That's a crankshaft champ right there. Oh, you tricked me. You tricked me. Okay. Oh, okay. That was also... I bet you somebody's like memorized the patterns of these levels and just is like got them all like perfect. Just like these crazy combos through these. I want to see the, the, the high level crank crankshaft players out there. All right. Level six. I almost got hit there. Nice. All right. Four more levels, and I think we'll call it. Oh, watch this. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Damn it. Let's twist this a little bit. Oh, oh, I'm just, oh, okay, so when you get, when you get a good combo, you can just bust straight through stuff. That's kind of cool. That was, a, that was very satisfying. Man, look at me, time six combo. I broke five things. Crankshaft natural. Okay, still breaking stuff. Oh, you got me there. All right. So you bounce off the, the black spots when you have the, the break, so you don't get to bust through them as satisfyingly. So you should still avoid them. Okay. It's going to trick me. I know it. I don't trust you, crankshaft developers. All right, level 10, let's call this our last one. Oh, we're moving, we are moving. But I didn't get to break anything, I said. Okay. Damn it, okay. A seven times combo. I bet you at some point in this game there's a level where they give you like a like an easy ten piece combo and then you just explode. There's like a, a black square waiting around the other end of it when you like it lulls you into complacency. Damn it. Okay. I think I died in that one a couple times in a row now. Oh, the break saved me. I ran to it a third time in a row, but I had break that time, so. Yay! Okay. Ten levels of crankshaft. That was pretty fun. Um, is there a? Does this game just open up on level eleven when I close it and open it again? Let's see. Yep, it just doesn't even doesn't even pretend to wait. It just starts going. That's that's actually kind of funny. There's no menus, just home screen. Going down. So that's pretty funny. But that's all I got for today. Uh, crankshaft, pretty fun. Um, Castle Tintagel. Um, it's fun. I'm just not a big Castlevania guy. I'm not very good at them. And I wish that checkpoint would have let me start after that boss. But who knows. But 
Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Play date, play date, play date, play date. Crank it!